So you run into a lot of bands and probably like way more than like the kind of average, but you just got like so unlucky with absolutely everything. It was um, pretty funny actually, yeah. yeah. It was like so unlucky with absolutely everything. Yeah. What, why did you keep going? Because a lot of people in your position would have actually given up, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people are just lazy yeah. and just kind of, they have no level of consistency. Mm. They want to see immediate fucking mm. results. They want to see money in their bank the first week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you kind of stuck going through those bands and through those problems, and now you're kind of touch wood. You're kind of clear, yeah, I think right? You're starting to at least gain some momentum. That's a good question. I mean, I one, if I set my mind to something, I don't, I don't just uh, give up. Like, I just, you know, it's kind of like fucking Hormozzi said this, and I thought it was very true. Like, if you just keep running and keep running, like, don't stop. Eventually, you're gonna, you're gonna get to the end, the finish line. It just might take me longer than. 12 months like some of the geezers are doing 30k months now and like that's fine i know i'll do 30k months it just might take me six months longer and i knew that like and it's just being a bit patient till i'm a little maybe a little bit older than most of the guys so i've got a little a little bit more fucking life experience and know that things just take time and i'm happy to i'm happy to put in the time to because it'll, it'll all be worth it in the end um and fuck bro i think it's always a test like i always see things as a test it's like this is just a test to see how bad i want it that's ultimately literally that's what i say when something goes hard i'm like it was never meant to be easy and this is just a test to see how bad you want it. That's good, yeah. And it's good that you used kind of the results of other people yeah. as motivation is not like demotivation. Because no. a lot of people look at that and they're like demotivated, like, yeah. oh, I didn't do that, I didn't do this. And even like me, in, yeah. like back in the day, yeah, yeah. like I would see people doing like a mil fucking a year into their journey yeah. and I'm doing like yeah. 300k a month. I'm like, oh no, 300k a month. Like, <laughs> like I'm sorry, I'm, like, failing, like, I'm a failure. You've got six figures. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting perspective and you live in such an ecosystem and the boys are talking about like we literally are just this tiny bubble where we're all talking serious numbers and talking this, talking that, talking that. And then if you escape that a second and you hear someone just talk normally like, oh, that's right. 98% of people ain't living like literally this. Don't like this. No. Literally don't even understand it. Literally don't even understand it. I mean, Oscar <laughs> sent a video to one of, uh, he put something on his like Snapchat story or something mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. One of our old friends, um, saw it yeah. I was like well whose house is that and then he's like oh it's Craig's house I'm like oh fuck he's doing well it's like people can't comprehend like yeah, yeah. outside of their obviously world yeah, yeah. And just purely because like you have the ability to try and think outside yeah, and like yeah. to five and think that something else would be possible it's like such a rare trait yeah 100% I think too like understanding that the person doing that is just they're just a man or they're just a woman or well, you know they're not like some fucking demigod they're not some some people are highly intelligent don't get me wrong but they've still got faults and if you can just understand that and continuously trying to level yourself up like a fucking computer game man and you, you will eventually get there but you really got to have to work 24 7 and really push to, to make yourself smarter than in the competition that's the thing and like you are completely right like people are really special in this niche like people aren't like crazy different or yeah. like no it's just I personally think, obviously there are people that are exceptional to the rules and people that are like exceptionally intelligent and stuff like this, as with any industry out there. Mm -hmm. But most people that are successful kind of just stuck with it to a certain degree. They obviously there's a little bit of luck and stuff like this, but yeah, yeah they didn't change, they didn't, they didn't change. keep switching yeah, yeah, yeah. shiny object syndrome, yeah, yeah, yeah. which so many people struggle with. Like, yeah, yeah. Because it was funny, man, when, when I joined New Money and I was doing Etsy, I was doing Shopify. And the thing with the, I love Shopify, I think it's great, but it takes so much more capital and you've got to put a little bit, a little bit your balls are on the line a little bit more. Like you're gonna be testing like three, four grand a month, testing budgets. If you're not that good at running ads, and you're not that good at picking products yet, cause you're gonna fuck it up. And I was like, I literally made a store, made a sale. And I was like, well, that was so fucking easy, man. It took, uh, for my first sale on Shopify, I spent like 350 bucks. I only sold a product for 40, <laughs> you know? And I literally, all I did was like pick the product from AliExpress and listen, I was like, okay, I see that that's some serious value right there. And then went down the rabbit hole of your live streams. I was like, okay, this is Shopify back in 2017. So now's, now's the time to jump on it. Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Shopify is like, a lot of people say it's like super easy and it's like low kind of risk. And stuff mm -hmm. like, but it's kind of, it's even, tricky, even I remember when I was doing Shopify dropshipping and we were building, I had a partner, we were building a one product store every single day and testing a one product store, like probably five days a yeah, week. Okay. Of, four or five work. days a week, it's right? Work so it's a hell of a lot of work. And it was like so much money. Yeah, yeah. Like, like maybe 250, 500 a product, Ooh, testing yeah. a product, trying yeah. to figure it out. Like yeah. that racks up really yeah. quickly, quickly, really yeah. quickly. And then when you hit a big winner, yeah. maybe, I mean, we weren't the most advanced, 
maybe at the point we were doing, we'd done maybe like 500K revenue, like 15% margins, not a lot of profit, mm. but that profit gets eaten up so quickly. So, so, so quickly. Yeah. Like it just goes instantly. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the cool thing about Etsy. I think it's a much less risk. It's slow. It is slower yeah, yeah. because it's slower and it's not slower, but like to actually get it up and running and like it takes longer, but it, it's more consistent, but it's so, it's so drastically different to the Shopify. Yeah, it's yeah. just Shopify always felt like a big kind of hamster wheel. Like you're always yeah. constantly testing new products, products, trying yeah. to run it up and then just testing new products, testing new products. Yeah. Whereas Etsy, it feels like more like you're actually building something yeah, that's yeah. going to last a little bit of time at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting you talk about the lasting like time piece. You can see, certainly I could like, it, you can see in the future like, okay, I'll build these, I'll have five or 10 stores up. You have all your systems in place and then it just becomes like a machine. And as long as you stay consistent, the stores will stay consistent. And as long as they're good products, you keep making money, right? And it's kind of safe. I don't want to use the word safe, but it kind of feels that like, okay, this is like a safe bet. And you're basically creating like income generating assets. One store is an asset, this is an asset, that's an asset, that's an asset. And if you keep everything slick, it'll be an asset in five years time. That's the thing. Like there's so much exit opportunity because it's so consistent and because it's like straight up, like it's so, so, so consistent. Whereas with Shopify dropshipping stuff, we try to we try to sell one of our stores once and like it was not a good deal for anyone that would ever buy it. But we tried to sell it and it was just so inconsistent. Like you could see where we scaled up yeah. and it's kind of gone to shit a little bit and we scaled up again. Yeah. And it was just like, there's no real longevity. There's no returning customers. There's no new customers coming to the store. There's no real clear way to do product development and yeah. add more products to the store yeah. within that niche so it's like etsy you can go so big and there's so many stores that have gone so so big yeah, as well yeah, yeah. and as you build up more of a store you can do a lot more cool things as well like yeah. there's obviously a lot of big stores like caitlin minimalist biggest store right it's like 2.3 million orders yeah, yeah. it's like 70 million plus yeah, in sales man. and most of their shit, like basically either directly ripped from China and they've made it themselves yeah. or they're just buying in bulk from China. Yeah. So there's so much opportunity. And they're, they're like plastered everywhere on Etsy. Yeah. And they're literally basically a dropshipping store. Yeah. There's no really different. Like, no, they've got great photos. They've obviously got like an in-house team doing custom photos yeah. and products coming in all the time. New photos. Well, they probably got it in China. I don't know how they set it up, but you know. It's like the easy, it's like crazy. Like so much opportunity with the future and they have a Shopify site. I don't yeah. know how much it does, yeah. but yeah. they have that as well. Obviously trying to drag people away from yeah, the Etsy yeah. platform to avoid the fees.